Hey YouTube, Matt and Roy back again. Well, I figured it's about time for another room tour video. So as we come in, you can see I still have my clock with my Monty Pythons Complete Waste of Time game on it, which again, I promise I will do a review of that game in the near future when I have some more time. Nothing over on this wall, just totally blank. And we're going to go ahead and start from the left this time. I have my painting I got at a garage sale of the Ginger Cat. Um, let me see if I can get a close-up of the artist here. Gone Hinger. If you guys know anybody anything about this artist, please leave it in the comments. I picked this up for $2 at a local garage sale. Thought it was very nice. Over here, still have my clock. And I decided to put my college graduation uh, tassel and information over here. Uh, minus the actual degree, I have that stored away. Up here I have part of my album, The Chipmunks Collection, and some CDs, just random CDs, mainly music CDs, a couple uh, old computer games. Down here, still got the good old Del Vostro 400. You guys can see that still working as good as ever haven't done any upgrades to that recently um, the last thing I did was the hard drive install which brought it up to two terabytes my two 23 inch monitors the left one again is a HP I have a separate video on that if you guys want to check that out it's the HP compact LA223 and I think that's a WG and then the 23 or 22 inch, I'm sorry, um, LG LC LED monitor. The only LED device I actually have in here now. Come here, we have my bed. Uh, I have my old comforter on it now because sometimes I like to use my bed to work on and don't want to get the new one all ruffled up. Coming over here, I have the. Uh, fan. This is my bedside fan. It's a Blizzard made by Holmes. Works very, very well. That's high. And then you got the medium and low settings. Makes a little bit of noise on the low setting. I'm not sure why, if you can hear that. It's no big deal for me. Except we're getting a little bit of dust coming out here. <laughs> so I usually just use it on medium or high. Um, the remotes for all my uh, TV and uh, equipment, TV, DVD, VCR, and all my stereo equipment are here. My Samsung Galaxy S, or Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab 3. A pink, <laughs> of all things, Nintendo DS. I don't think I ever did a video on this. I picked this up for a couple of bucks at a garage sale. I pretty much use it to play Ms. Pac-Man and that is all. So I really didn't care that it was pink. My Sony uh, bedside clock, which I pretty much only use as a clock. But what else is cool about this is it actually plays nature sounds. Like, give me an example. Uh, this one is the waves if you push it. You can hear the waves. This one is nature sounds. I think this one's rain. Yeah. And then wind and rain. So pretty interesting. I, I like to use that sometimes when I'm trying to sleep. Can't sleep at night. Those nature sounds really come in handy. And yes, I know some of you commented about me having lotion by the bed. The reason for that is I am of Scandinavian descent and we have very bad, very dry skin. So I have to lather myself up with lotion on a daily basis, unfortunately. Um, any of you guys out there that are Scandinavian or with very fair skin know that that is absolutely the case. Other than that, up here I have some more CDs. Uh, this up here, just a pair of toenail clippers, some tapes, some random, again, more random CDs. 
a very, very brief look at my vast 8-track uh, collection. Most of that is in the closet. I might do a separate video on that in the future. Some more tapes. My uh, Fisher speakers with the 15-inch woofers. And I got my uh, blank media up here. Have some high 8 tapes. Um, these are regular 8 millimeter. Those are high 8s. And then, of course, just some random blank cassettes. I'm starting to run low on Maxell XL2s, which are my favorite. That's them right there. If any of you guys know anybody who's getting rid of those in new condition, please put a, uh, put a message in the comments. Uh, my stereo system here. I uh, have the Audio Technica turntable. Right now I have uh, some tapes I picked up for free off of Craigslist on them. Uh, just checking them out, but the turntable still works fine. Don't worry about that. More cassette tape storage, because as most of you guys know, I am really into cassettes. <laughs> My RCA 5-disc changer with MP3 playback capability. Pioneer VSX405 receiver. Uh, the new Onkyo tape deck, the A1 that I picked up at the CHKD a couple weeks ago. This is still working just fine. And then, of course, my uh, Pioneer. Uh, the model on this is HR100. Still working as good as ever, though I do need to take it apart and clean the, the track uh, program switch because that does stick on occasion. Coming over here, I have my computer chair. I actually have two of these. I picked these up at a, another local thrift store for next to nothing. I think I maybe paid $15. And they are in amazing shape. Very thick fabric. These are um, office chairs for sure. These were never meant to be in the home use because they're really, really sturdy. And if they can handle my big butt, then you know they're well made. Come over here. I still have my uh, workstation set up. The 2300 uh, HP printer. My 22-inch uh, e-machine monitor that I use uh, for the station. I, again, I moved the Dell uh, Dimension XPS 233, my DOS and Windows 3.1 gaming system, over to here. Um, just made it a little bit easier. Uh, I want to have everything consolidated. And then, of course, over here, just so you guys, for you guys that are wondering, the HP uh, Pavilion uh, running Windows 2000, that system is still going strong. I haven't been using it a lot recently, but it may be the subject of a few videos in the near future. And of course my Cybex SwitchView KVM switch and my Linksys uh, 5 port hub, they're working just fine. Coming over here, my HP uh, PhotoSmart 7525 is still working great. Matter of fact, I just recommended one of those to a client. They bought it and absolutely love it as much as I do. The Kenmore 8000 BTU air conditioner Again, still working just fine. Um, you can hear it's nice and quiet. This was a thrift store find from a couple of years ago. I paid about 40 bucks for it. Wound up being a great investment. And it even came with the original remote. And this is from around 2001 originally. Here's the other Fisher speaker. Again, you guys have seen this, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. My sound design. AM FM electronic clock cassette recorder still works great. As a matter of fact, I've been using this instead of my other alarm clock to wake up in the morning because I have my favorite uh, tape in here, Algero Breaking Away. Great to wake up to. And to use this, you just push play on the tape and then you put it to auto and I have the alarm set to 8 o'clock. So when 8 o'clock 8 a.m. rolls around, this starts playing and I wake up to some beautiful music. Now over here I have my closet. I know I haven't really shown this too much, but yes, this is a mess right now. Some random monitors, a uh, desktop that a customer needs to pick up. Uh, my only laptop right now. Um, it's a piece of junk, but it does work. <laughs> Whole lot of random mess right here. And you guys are lucky because I usually will not show this off to anybody, but I figured, you know what, I am a little bit of a hoarder, so... You know, I got to admit that. <laughs> My um, Easy Sort coin sorter here. Uh, another old laptop. 
don't remember if I did a video on this Toshiba one or not. I think I might have did a quick video, and this is definitely be the subject of one in the future. Two extra dual cassette decks, a, the old Sony and the Pioneer. You know, I always like to have two or three extras just in case. My parts bins. This is my good comforter, which is kind of balled up at the moment. And that'll go on um, if we ever have guests. Again, just a whole bunch of random garbage. And a lot of this, unfortunately, most people would think is garbage. But I, it still holds some value to me. And then a whole bunch of DVDs, and the rest of my record collection is buried under that lot. Coming over here, I have my Matt's Room Friends Allowed that a good friend of mine got for me at a uh, free clothing bank where my grandmother lives. My emergency light that I got from the Dollar Tree near us years ago. And this is really awesome. It has this one light. You can choose blinking lights for emergency. And it has this set of four LEDs. Very comes in handy if we lose power at night and that thing will burn for oh at least a day or two straight. Still have the album the Chipmunks collection. Uh, people have been bugging me to do update videos, but to be honest guys, I have not gotten anything new in a while for my album the Chipmunks collection. It's pretty much the same. Those two shelves there. All my tapes, and I did pick this up the other day, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. One of my favorite movies from back in the day. Whole bunch of the rest of my tapes and DVDs. And then of course my laser discs on the bottom. Over here we have my 32 inch Westinghouse LCD TV, which is still going strong. Under that we have the Fios box, the Pioneer DVL-909 Laserdisc DVD Combo, my Toshiba DVD player slash recorder, the Sony Blu-ray player, I don't remember the model, but that's the one I picked up at the garage sale for about 10 bucks, my JVC VCR, and if you can see it right there, that is, the camera will focus, yeah, I don't think we're going to get that lucky, that's, uh, model HRD750LM and then of course my Sony Betamax that's on the bottom there the the JVC is a hi-fi unit the Betamax unfortunately is not and then of course I have my Dell what was a surround sound system originally for a computer but I adapted it to work with this setup two of the speakers are there and the other two are sitting right on top over here I have my very, very large couch. And when we finished painting, we did rehang the two speakers. Alvin is gracing one of them. Actually, Alvin's gracing both of them. The CGI version and the, cart the old cartoon version. I have my two Alvin the Chipmunks posters here. I have the Chipwrecked and the Squeakle there. Over here I have Alvin the Chipmunks, the first movie. And then another version of the Chipwrecked. I really wish I had another one for the squeak. Well, I'm not really that crazy about that poster, but you know what? It's the only one I could find. The curtains we put up, they're still doing well. No tears or anything. They're not fading. Down here we have the 40-inch uh, insignia, which used to be a 39-inch, but when they replaced the panel, they had to stuff a 40-inch in there because they didn't make a 39 anymore. Uh, my home theater PC, the Dell, with the in custom Intel motherboard. My new Fios box that I had to get because the old, actually it's a DVR. The old DVR went by the wayside, which I'm so glad it did because it was giving me tons of problems. My Onkyo uh, surround sound receiver that I use in 5.1 mode, even though it is 7.1 capable. Still working just fine, but really isn't room for the two extra speakers, not in this little alcove. There's a subwoofer for that. My other uh, five port hub. The LG Blu-ray player is still working just fine. That right there is the receiver for my uh, keyboard and mouse setup. 
bunch of the rest of the speakers, the fan, a fan that I use because it gets hot over here, and I'm a big guy, so I like things to stay nice and cool. Um, random Blu-ray collections and the rest of my Alvin the Chipmunk DVDs. I don't have all of them. I think I'm missing one or two. Uh, Dave's crazy, uh, Dave's driving Dave crazy, and one of the Chipettes ones as well. Got some storage under there. And right here, of course, we have the rest of my Alvin the Chipmunks collection. Uh, we kind of moved around a little bit. I'll just pan up so you can see what I have. There are my glasses up there. It's one of my favorites because those are from the yeah, actually from the eighties. And of course, on top, I have the two Alvins. This one I picked up at a thrift store a few years back. And this one I actually got from um, Build-A-Bear Workshop in uh, Jefferson Valley Mall in New York. And my Alvin Simon Theodore uh, Happy Meal Toys from McDonald's. That was from the first movie. Coming over here, I have some pictures of my two cats, Simon and LT. I did put this storage bin back because I like to have storage for my little uh, tchotchkes. A random uh, picture of a cat that I got at some garage sale. I don't remember where. Uh, all of my camcorders and cameras. This is the uh, Sony Hi8 camcorder. The DVL, the uh, 260. This is the... Um, uh, I can't think right now. This is the JVC uh, Mini DV camcorder. This is the Canon T3 i8. And this is my 5 megapixel Sony Easy Share camcorder. I have more, and I will be doing a video on my complete camera and camcorder collection because it's really getting um, vast. As a matter of fact, I'm shooting this with a camcorder I just picked up yesterday. Just some random storage there. This is my um, ViewSonic VG2230 WM. Um, 22 inch monitor that I got from the thrift store a couple of months back. My other HP 2300 LaserJet printer. These are two of the best printers I've ever owned. Basically maintenance free. Uh, my speaker setup is back there. I know we've talked about that before. And the PS de Resistance is my HP Compaq 6000 Pro Series desktop. This is the one that I added the uh, one terabyte hard drive to. If you watch that video, um, Adventures in Hard Drive Cloning. And I also put in uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. I doubled the RAM because this originally had four. Over here is my cl closed closet. Kind of have to reach back here to turn the switch on, but nothing substantial in there. Just like, it, just like I said, it's pretty much closed. And there's my hamper. Then I put all my dirty clothes in at the end of the day. Back here is something really interesting I need to do a video of. This is actually an 8-track stereo system from the 70s. And that may be the next video that I do. I haven't had that out in some time. And last but not least, um, I decided to hang some of my family pictures up, including some pictures of my two babies right there. I have the bureau here that I put the uh, AM, FM, cassette, CD recorder with the phonograph. Everything on this works except for the cassette player. It has uh, probably a bad belt because it doesn't play at the right speed. I don't know if I'll ever do anything with it because I mainly got this to record records to CDs, so I'm not really worried about it. One of my many Game Boys. And I'm going to do a video about this in the near future. I'm actually going to change the uh, face plates on here because they're the, I have two or three of these Game Boys and they're very scratched. And they're very easy to change. You just pull these off, get rid of the glue, and you put a little bit of glue on the ends and you place a new one on there. You can actually get them on eBay for a couple of dollars a piece. A couple random transistor radios. And a book I picked up the other day. A Taste of Chicken Soup for the Cat Lover's Soul, which you can pick up at any local Dollar Tree location. And that is it. We are back to the beginning. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, as always, have a blessed day, everybody.